This is example one on page 345, and it says that you're obtaining a $120,000 loan, and the bank charges 8.5% 8, 8 plus $250 plus two and a half points. What are the one-time charges? Now, if you go back and look at your definitions that I've provided you with, points are equal to 1% and it says of the amount of the loan. Well, this is the amount of the loan and you're talking about two and a half points. If each point is 1%, right now we're talking about two and a half percent. So that's points. Now, one-time charges would be a charge that you pay up front. They call them closing costs. Um, the eight and a half percent interest is your interest rate while you're making your payment. So that's not a one-time charge. That's going to be something that you're going to keep paying. So these are the things that we're talking about, about one-time charges. So we know that we're having a one-time charge of $250. Then we've got to figure out how much the points are. And if you're doing two and a half percent, so two and a half percent of $120,000, you do just like when you did the um, down payment. You do 120000 times point oh two five. Remember, you move your decimal two places to the left. So 120000 times point oh two five is $3,000. So your one-time charge for this loan is three thousand dollars plus two fifty, so three thousand two hundred fifty dollars, and that's up front before you even get the loan, before you talk about payments, before the interest rate comes into play. Um, this is what's called closing cost, and this is going to be your one-time charge. Now sometimes there are other things that go into that, maybe an appraisal fee or something like that, but they'll have to tell you what the charges are up front as you go forward with it. And when they talk about points, if it said three points, it would be three percent. If it said four points, it'd be four percent. So the points, each point is equal to one percentage point. And you just multiply the percentage just like we did for the um, down payment.